her Buffalo Bill bitch fucking Angie, the owner of the share room, because she know that she's not allowed to post me, so what does she do? She posts mad shit of people that she know that I'm associated with, for example, QC, right? This is the owner of one of the most successful black-owned label right now. Every artist that he got under his label are rocketing. But nah, she rather not post when, when he getting good accomplishments. She rather post him when he's dealing with drama, baby mama drama, or his personal life. Carisha, Young Miami. I'm really cool with her. Everybody thought that it was not going to be successful after JT got locked up. They've been rocketing, hitting the charts, every chart they top 10. But no, y'all rather not post that. Y'all rather post some shit that's going to set her up to get dragged in the fucking comments. Every single, everybody that, that they know that I'm cool with, they always try to get them set up so people to talk said donated $25,000 to the Ellen Foundation for Kids in Africa. Did the shade room post it? No. Is the shade room posting how this man is, is um, promoting a cancer free campaign? No. Is they, uh, they Have they posted any uh, positive shit and investment talk that he's been talking about in his interviews? No. But they sure posted when he had drama with his baby mom. They sure posted about his court cases, right? saying that oh i only want people to post positive shit about us positive shit about us at the end of the day a blog is a blog and i feel like they could they gotta post the good and the bad but come on now like that bias shit that people want to do all the time because they're on a fucking hate campaign they're on some fuck qc fuck cardi b campaign like that shit is getting whack it's trash it's just like how do people want us to change for what why change why not? Why change? If y'all only post the fuck shit that happened in our fucking lives. Y'all don't post the change. Y'all don't post the good. Y'all don't post the accomplishment. Y'all post the fuck shit. So, what the fuck? All because they're on a hate campaign. Hate campaign. That shit is not going to stop nobody though. Fact. Saying this for these blogs. Stop claiming that y'all for the people. When y'all promote these artists, these urban artists, misfortunes. Stop claiming that y'all for the people when y'all feel drama in between these artists. Like, for example, that Kodak and T.I. Beef, that shit should have been stopped. But people kept fueling and fueling and It's like, yo, at the end of the day, they are street niggas. Besides them being artists, don't fuel shit that could, that could be taken to the street. Stop fueling this shit. Y'all want these artists to change or y'all really don't want them to change? Do y'all want them to stay the same because it benefits y'all? Or because y'all capitalize of these of these niggas' drama? Stop claiming y'all for the people when y'all fuel this shit. Like, what's up? Be in the comments like, oh, why are they making documentaries about R. Kelly? Why are they making documentaries about Michael Jackson? Well, let me tell y'all why. Because y'all make it, y'all make people feel like it's okay to do so. Why wouldn't a white Caucasian person try to capitalize of the drama that happens in the urban and the black entertainment business when black blogs, black owned blogs capitalize of their own drama and problems? You don't see Donald Trump, you don't see Charlie Sheen shit going viral every year, every so, because they don't give a fuck anymore. Back in the day, TMZ used to report about Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, all these Caucasian celebrities, all these celebrity actors. Now all they do is post about hip-hop artists, people that's in the black entertainment business, because black blogs capitalize of black entertainers drama. Y'all barely post positive shit about us, so why would a white blog post positive shit about us? Why
motherfuckers want to post on their story like, yeah, we do post positive shit about you. Every shit that you posted on your story about me and my nigga, this fake positive shit that y'all claim y'all posted about me, was a year ago. When y'all wasn't on this hate Cardi campaign, when y'all wasn't getting fucking paid to smear my fucking name and shit. So don't come with that bullshit like if I'm fucking dumb or I'm popping off my mouth for no reason. What positive shit have you posted about me or my nigga this year? Nothing at all. So stop with the shits. Or anybody that I'm associated with. All you do is try to get them dragged. So stop it, bitch.